Yo, what's up, guys? Stand by for simple snippets. And today's video is another practical program on swapping of two variables without using third variable. So, in the previous video tutorial, we saw swapping of two variables using a third variable as temporary variable. However, this program is slightly different. And what we are going to do is we are not going to use a temporary variable for swapping. We are going to only use two variables, and we are going to use some basic logic of mathematics to perform swapping of two variables without using a third variable. So this is a very famous question always asked at a beginner's level. So I'm pretty sure that you'll come across this question in your practical programs if you have Java programming, especially the core Java part. So let's start off with this program. So as you can see, I've already created a project and I've created a program. So quickly open up your NetBeans ID and type out this program because that will give you the best practice if you type along with me. So in this program, you can see I've already created two variables int x equals to six and y equals to seven. So let me just print these values. So I'll say before swapping. So this is what I'm going to print. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print and before swapping x equals to the value of x and y equals to the value of y. Now notice that this slash n is used to take the cursor on the new line on the console. So let me just save this and run this. You'll see what I mean. So there you go. You can see before swapping, then we have slash n. That's why the output comes on the new line. So we have x equals to six. Then again, one more slash n over here because of which the output of y comes on a new line. So y equals to seven. So now after swapping, what we want is x equals to seven and y equals to six. So we cannot use any temporary variable or third variable to take assistance. We are going to use simple mathematics to perform the swapping. So what I'm going to say is x equals to x plus y. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. In fact, what I'll do is in the comments, I'll show what exactly is happening. So we have these values six and seven. So I'm going to say x equals to x plus y. So the new value of x will be x plus y is six plus seven, right? So we have 13. So the new value of x is going to be 13, which is going to be stored and overwritten on this x. So initially x was six, but the new value is going to be 13. Now what I'm going to say is y is equal to x minus y. Okay. So what just happened over here? So the new value of y is going to be x minus y. So x has become 13. So 13 minus y is seven. So 13 minus seven is going to be six. Correct. So the new value of y is going to be six. So initial value was seven and now the new value is six. So we've already performed swapping of y. So now x is still 13. So let's see how do we swap that. So lastly, I'm going to say x equals to x minus y. Okay. So what did I do again? Now initial value of x was six, then it became 13 over here at this statement line number 15. Now the new value of x is going to be x minus y. So x is already 13. So x is 13 minus y. So the new value of y we just found out was six. So 13 minus six is going to be seven. So x is now seven. So x was initially six. Ultimately x is now seven, which means that we have performed swapping without using a third variable. So let me just copy this line and again print it over here. I'm going to say after swapping, save this and let's run this. So there you go. You can see the swapping results in the output window. So it's saying before swapping x equals to six and y equals to seven. And after swapping, it is saying x equals to seven, y equals to six. So this is how we've performed successful swapping of two variables without using a third variable. So I hope you understood this program and we also saw what happens line by line. So basically we did a dry run over here. So in the comments, you can see how the values changed, right? So this was basic mathematics and logic to basically swap the values without taking assistance of a third variable. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you understood this basic program and this is frequently asked at a beginner's level. So now you know how to perform swapping without using a third variable. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.